Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can make gimmick cards or golf cards. I'm not gonna teach you each and every possibilities for that. I'm gonna make independent videos and then I'm gonna send you over here to learn the basics, which is removing the face and the back of each playing card. Also how you can make blank cards and how you can print them up yourself and make your own. So for this you need a rubber cement, a ruler, an exacto knife, scissors, and a card press. However, you don't need a card press, you don't want to, but uh, it's much better and more efficient. If you're getting a lot into a gimmick cards, it's better for you to buy the card press. Um, but you can use any other flat, solid surface for you to press the cards. Okay, so what magicians recommend is better for you to use brand new playing cards. However, it works good as well with all cards or brand new cards. Uh, this is what you need to do before you even begin with anything. You need to soft this cut out and uh, make it smoother and make it easier for you to remove the paper. You need to beat up this corner on a solid surface about two or three times. Okay. Then you have to be aware that playing cards has paper in the face and paper in the back. But in the middle it has a little thin piece of cardboard or a hard piece of paper. But in this case we are going to make double face cards. So I'm gonna remove the back of this playing card, okay? Now over here, as you can see, in this corner, you can either remove the paper or the face or the paper in the back, okay? And in this case, I'm gonna remove the paper in, of the back of the playing card. And I'm just gonna split a little further this corner, just the paper. And then after you have a nice little piece right here, it's gonna be enough for you to catch it. Now, the thickest part goes up and the thinnest goes down on the surface. Here you can use any sharp edge so you can pinch the single layer, which is the, the paper. I'm just folding up the thickest part, which is the cardboard and the paper. As soon as you have a nice little piece, I'm gonna put my index finger so to minimize any wrinkles. I keep rolling the index finger and pushing against the thickest part. You have to do it slowly and carefully. For example, in the process of peeling off the paper, you rip it off a little bit uh, you better stop doing that and keep going to the opposite corner. If you rip it again, go to the other corner or to the last corner right here. Um, but you have to be careful anyway. And you finish finally by the corner. Now we need to restore the shape of the card. And to restore the shape of the playing card, I need a sharp edge. Okay. Then I'm going to press down and going against the edge to restore as much as you can the shape of the playing card. The same thing with a single layer, the paper. As you can see, this edge is folding up. Okay, so we need to emphasize this edge and the corner as well. All right. So this is gonna be good enough. Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna try to remove the paper or the two of hearts and put it in the back of the five of diamonds in this case, so I can create a double face card. Now, I can just remove just the back as I did with this one and put them back to back, but it's gonna be a little thicker. So I wanna keep it as professional and as real as I can. I'm gonna try to peel off the paper or the two of hearts and stick it right behind the five of diamonds. Okay, so now I have the single layer of the two hearts and the paper and the cardboard in the middle. So I can create a double face cards. Okay, 
I'm going to apply the rubber cement in both surfaces of the paper. When you apply the rubber cement, use a sheet of paper and apply one way out. Do not apply it backwards so you don't mess up with the edges. Now leave it alone, put it inside, and do the next. Okay, so this is the next part, which is squaring the paper in the single layer and the paper in the cardboard. You can have a piece of paper, just fold it and rest the card over there, and put this paper right above. And you have to be careful because when they get together, it's going to be hard to separate them. Now there you have it, this is the double face card. Now you may see some blotches or dark areas, or more darker in one spot than the other one. Don't worry about it. I mean, it's the rubber cement, which is gonna dry and it's gonna look good as new. So as soon as you have uh, complete this step, put a gimmick card in the middle of the deck of a paint card. Then this deck, put it inside the compressor. Now it is recommended that you have a card press. Uh, don't apply excessive pressure. I mean, you can put a lot of pressure, but don't exaggerate. You can leave it there for about an hour, and the gimmick card is gonna be ready to go. Okay, while the gimmick card is drying, let me show you how you can make blank cards. Now, when making blank cards, I highly recommend you to use a red color instead of the black one. Here I was using the two of spades, so two of clubs. It was a black color, that's the point. And to remove the black color, you have to apply more pressure because it's gonna leave some dark areas. And in the red one, here it was the three of diamonds, I believe, and I removed all the areas, and I don't have to apply excessive pressure. Now, the material that I use is regular alcohol. It is for minor infections. Uh, it's for external use. I mean, you can get it anywhere anyway. Now, when doing this, I'm using a paper towel and I'm gonna put alcohol, about half of it, or one third. It doesn't have to be a lot. And apply pressure in the area you want to remove. As you can see over here, when you apply alcohol, you are removing the glossy area of the card and it's becoming rough. I mean, it's not going to be glossy, but the nice thing is that you can do some printings with your printer on the card. The problem and the reason I don't recommend you to do that is because the paper is so porous and it's not going to keep the ink together. I mean, when I was printing on this card, which I remove all the color with the alcohol the same way you just watch. Then, uh, when I use the printer, it's not good for high quality. This paper, the way it ends, is not going to give you a good printing quality. Just watch the one I print and the original one. This is the original one and see the quality. It is quite different. Now, there is a way to get around this. This is the one I print on a regular piece of paper and then I glue it, stick it up there. But I'll show you this later on, how to make one of these. Now, you try to get a picture card gimmick, it's not gonna be as neat as you use a trio diamonds or any other number card, because there is not as much quality on a number card as a picture card. Now, let's suppose you still wanna print it. And uh, this is what I did. In a printer, I print the frame to see where the printer is gonna print. Then I create another file, PDF file. I try to use PDF files because they print the picture in the exact same size. Well, as soon as I know where is the frame, the second file places it right in the same spot. So because of the frame, I know where is going to end up the next printing, which is going to be the gimmick card. And I can print it on top of the white card. And the problem is when the cards are brand new, the ink doesn't absorb on the paper. But if you use the method that I just showed you using alcohol, then you can print uh, right on top of the card. But as I just showed you, the quality is going to be really bad. But this is the way it is done. I just place double-sided tape inside the frame so I can place the card right in the center of the frame. And this is 
how it ends. Okay, and this is with a regular white paper, which I recommend much better to use regular white paper and stick it on top, as I just showed you with a double face card. I don't recommend you to print directly on the playing card because that paper, as I just showed you, it is really bad. Okay, so let me show you the card. It's, it has been about 10 minutes. You should make more and leave them there for about an hour, but I'm just gonna show you how is it going with a gimmick card after 10 minutes? Believe it or not, it looks as good as any other professional card you buy in Magic Stores as a double face card. It is a bit softer, not a big deal, but as you can see, I highly recommend you to use a rubber cement over the glue stick. The problem with a glue stick is that it dries and then when you try to fold or to bend the playing card, it's gonna crack is going to break the glue, causing uh, more wrinkles on the playing card after you apply it and after it dries. But on the rubber cement, it doesn't cause any wrinkles when you fold it. Notice here, I fold the playing card and it's not causing any wrinkles. Okay, it keeps the paper as tight as possible to the material of the playing card. And this is just regular paper. This is what I just did in a printer. Now, one important thing I want to mention is that when you scan playing cards and you print them up, you have to remove all the white areas with a photo editing, whatever you want to use. Then you have to increase the saturation on the red color and the black color, as I did it with this one. Now let me give you a comparison on the saturation of the color. Uh, here I tried to increase the red color to match as much as I can these other areas. Here it was really fade out, okay? That's why you have to increase the saturation and remove all the white areas with a photo editor and that's an important tip for you to begin doing uh, gimmick cards with your own printer and regular paper now when you're making your own gimmick cards you have to put this card the original one let's say this blank face card if you want to put it right behind you have to put it against the light so you can square up this card as much as you can once you have it right there you can just make some spots in the back so you can apply rubber cement on the card, just remove the paper and apply rubber cement over here as well. And when you put the card right there, you end up putting it right on the center. Now let's say you want to create this kind of playing card, diagonal, side to side or whatever. Instead of using your own printer and you want to use your playing card, you can for example use the paper or the back. Let's say you want to create a half back and half face, uh, just align it very well. Let's say you want to create a diagonal card, depending on the way you want to spread them. And with a ruler, you're making pressure really tight. After the paper and the card is completely square, just go for it. So you can just remove the paper of this side of it. Be careful not to completely fold the card because they're gonna create a crease over here and it's gonna make a white stripe so just be careful with that and proceed to the same steps you can go a little over the playing card even above this edge square one edge first and there you have it and whatever residue of the glue uh, going over these three of clubs in this case you can just remove it quite easily again put it on the card press for about an hour or overnight which is better and that's gonna be it and from here you can come up with so many endless variations